Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm just actually going to do a quick video on what I think the kind of meta will hold for 12.10. So if you've been living under a rock and you don't really know what's going on in the durability patch, well, I'm not going to go through every change because as you can see, there are a lot of champions changed. Basically, the way it works is that the Grievous Wounds, Shields, Heals, and Vamp of basically every champion and item have been nerfed. So that's why the champ list is so long. Um, and then the base health, HP per level, armor per level, and magic resist of every champion have been increased. So basically what this means is that overall there should be like um, less time to just get 100 to 0. Fights should last a bit longer. And just in general, I think this will create a more kind of like, uh, I guess like a slower game, slower team fights. And will probably reward champions that uh, have very high sustained DPS. Um, or weren't really reliant on one-shotting people, you know, they could be utility champions, generally just champions that want, like, longer fights. So, the kind of champions from mid lane that I think are really advantaged by this are champions like Cassio, uh, Nutalia, Swain, Malzahar, you know, um, there's some other ones, Azir, you know, there's, there's a lot of them. Champions that want, like, longer fights, uh, I think really get a big benefit from this. Champions that maybe probably get the, the least or get affected the hardest in the opposite direction, so the greatest negative effect. I would say assassins that are reliant on 100 to zeroing um, could take a big hit, so champions like Fizz uh, would, would be a big one. Now, that being said, there are some assassins that I'm not sure where they're going to end up because they can kind of build other builds. So, like, for example, I'd say Zed is a champion that's, like, reliant on one-shotting people. But Zed has, like, a Conqueror build that he can go. Um, you know, champions like Kiana can go, like, they used to go, like, a Gore Drinker build. So there's, like, potentially options for some of the assassins. So those are champions that I'm really not sure about. I feel like they should be affected pretty hard, but potentially they'll find a place with a different build. There are also, like, kind of the burst mages, I feel like, are in a bit of a weird spot. So, champions like Syndra, Zoe, um, LeBlanc, for example, like, these champions, they can build CDR builds. You know, they can go stuff like um, Leandri's Cosmic and just play for, like, lots of poke and lots of cooldowns. But these were champions that did prefer to kind of build for, like, bigger bursts. So, again, it'll be interesting to see where these champs end up. I feel like they, yeah, I actually just, like, don't really know. I feel like they actually might be a bit better because I feel like they, I guess, benefit more from a slower game than some of the assassins do. But it's hard to say. I think they're really just in the middle. But, yeah, overall, like, DPS classes should should get, like, a, a big increase in their win rate. Um, I think burst classes will probably have a decrease in their win rate. That being said, they are doing a 12.10 B patch where they'll kind of be you know, um, re-evaluating any champs that are weak and, and kind of buffing them up like that. So today what I'm going to do is actually on stream, I'm going to try out a bunch of the new champs. So as this video goes live, I will be live on Twitch, on Twitch TV, Shock LOL. Um, I'm going to be trying a bunch of the new champs. And at the end of the day, I'm actually going to make a tier list um, and I will post that on YouTube as well, probably just like as a community post, just like a day one tier list. Um, and then maybe like yeah, maybe in the future, probably like by the time 12.10b is is out, um, I'll make a proper like, I guess more nuanced tier list. Like we're still going to go quite in depth with the first one, right? Uh, but the reality is it's like a day one tier list, so we don't have access to all the information. But I think by then we'll have a better idea of what's OP. So I don't think I'm really going to uh, say any more than that. Um, basically, it's just the TLDR. Like there has been a lot of changes and we can kind of predict what's strong, like just Stuff that wants extended fights, so it can be DPS champs, CDR champs, um, even like kind of like supportive champs. Um, so stuff like Karma, I think, would benefit quite a lot. Even though the shields were reduced, um, I doubt they would have been reduced enough that it compensates for the fights being longer. Um, so yeah, I think overall those champs will probably be better. Scaling will probably be better. There'll be slower games. Um, so yeah, make sure to come check out my stream today. We'll be going over a lot of the champions and come and ask questions. Look forward to tomorrow there being another tier list out. Um, and hopefully I'll explain like a bit more about why I think those champions are good on this patch. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it guys. Liked it. Like it if you like it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you next time.